Do you get that? All right, let me give it to you another way. In Ephesians chapter 4, and I haven't finished with Romans 2 yet. We're going to go back there, so don't forget that. But in Ephesians chapter 4, it says that whenever he ascended up, he gave gifts unto men. And he said, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers. Right? We normally call that the fivefold ministry. Then it says, why? For the perfecting of the saints. Right? And that word perfecting means to, and then it says, for the equipping of the body of Christ. So the whole point there is that the fivefold ministry is given to equip, which means to train, right? The body of Christ. Now, in Philippians 4.19, it says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to your goodness and your good works. Isn't that what it says? then why is that the way the church has been practicing it? No, it says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So you're getting your supply, your needs supplied based on the glory of the riches in Christ. Amen? So that's where he's drawing from to supply your need. So whatever need you have, God is going to supply it. You got that? Now, here's the thing. Uh, Second Peter tells us that God, by his divine power, has already given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. So he's already given us all things. So God's supplying was him giving us all things, and that's past tense. That's already done. When you get in the kingdom, when you come in, you get born again, you got it. It's in there. Right? You are complete in him. You got that? Now, I don't want to stray too far, but I'll give you an example. I've got seven grandchildren now. And my oldest grandchild will be 15, I think, yeah, in, in April. My youngest is about uh, three, I guess. Yeah, three. And every one, it's the same thing. Every time one's born, we go through the same thing. We're sitting and waiting, and at some point they bring them out. And usually many times they're behind some glass, you know, and they bring them in with all the other babies. And they bring them in, and then they point to them, and we get, go over and look in the glass. And then we look at that little baby boy, baby girl. What's the first thing you do? Yeah. Okay. And, and you start looking, and say, okay, you start counting everything. Isn't that right? You start counting everything, right? Two eyes, two ears, good, good so far. Two, two arms, yeah, two legs, good. Okay, fingers, got all the fingers good. And whenever you finish looking and it's all there, you think, thank God, it's complete. It's a complete child. Isn't that right? It's complete. Now, is it mature? No. But let me ask you this. When that baby matures, if that baby's born with two arms, when it matures, is it going to have three? No. It's still going to have two arms, Right? In other words, whatever it was born with, when it matures, it's going to have the same thing. So if it's going to have the same thing when it's full grown that it did when it was born, what's the difference between the two? What is the maturity? It is the child learning to use what it was born with. You get that? When you watch that child crawl and you think, when are they going to walk? Well, when they learn to use the two legs God gave them, then they're going to learn to walk. Isn't that right? They're learning. So maturing, growing up, means learning to use what you were born with. Do you hear that? Nobody's going to come along and add another arm to them. That would that'd be ridiculous. And you think, okay, now it's not a, a child. Now it's a mutant. But yet you come into Christ. And the moment you're born in Christ, you are complete in him. He moves into you. You're recreated and old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new and all things are of God who has reconciled us unto himself. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and and 19 tells us. Think about that. You're a new creation. Everything in you, old things are passed away, all things have become new and when you were born again in him, you are complete in him. You got everything you need for your life for the rest of your life. You got that? 